Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss about the software STAT Foundation. It is the advanced version of the STAT software and the STAT Foundation is used to analyze and design the various types of foundations like isolated footing, combined footing, raft foundation, mat foundation and so on. So this will help us to save lot of time because it will not only give the design results, also it will give the detailing sheets. So the detailing can be imported to AutoCAD file as well and then we can even modify using AutoCAD. So without delay let's begin now. First let's look into the interface of the software. So here we have home tab, view, tools and Bentley cloud services help. This is also Bentley product same like stat. So if you go to view you will be having all the view port informations like front view, back view, side view and this rotate down up rotate right left these all we are having in stat pro as well and zoom out zoom window zoom all these and all we are having under view tab under tools we have add support add beam add plate this is for loading and this is for geometry this is for making geometry polygonal boundary rectangular boundary circular boundary and you can see here it is mentioned as selection cursor this is very user friendly this is selection cursor mat geometry and then loading machine wizard grouping pictures dimension so all are given here and if you go to home you will be having open save save as and here you have the option import from stat even you can create the model in the stat and then you can import it to stat foundation import spreadsheet here unit setup if you click on this you can change the unit here and then here uh, the shortcut uh, keys are given uh, for opening save save as print this is for import so this is the shortcut toolbar now let's start opening the new file so if you click on this new file you will be getting this window create new project so here you can uh, select general foundation then give open you will be getting this window when you open a new file first we need to create a column position to do that we need to click on foundation plan and under that we need to select column position so here you have the table to enter the values let's give the origin first 0 0 0 and then enter see the column dias has been created now we need to set the dimensions for this column so for that you have to select column dimension and here you can give the sizes column sizes see column length the abbreviation is given here column length is the plan dimension of the rectangular column along the global x direction so here length is describing the x direction column width is the plan dimension of the rectangular column along the global z direction so column width is the z direction so this is the x direction and this is the z direction so let's give our column size is 230 by 450 so i'm going to give 0.23 meter the units are in meters if you wanted to change the unit in mm you can go to this unit setup and then here you can change column width is 0.45 meter we can't enter see the column dimensions has been added here we are done with the column dimension next let's add the loading details to do that we need to click on this loads and factors and under that create new load case so here you get load description tree under that you have to add your loads load title is dead load and then loading type is dead give add similarly live load loading type you can change it to live and add c2 load cases has been added under this we have to add column reaction load so for that we need to get the forces and moments so these values we can get it from the start proof file i have already designed one structure so from this we can take the forces so let's select this supports and then go to report support reactions force y under load we can select all and then so we need to do it for dead load and then live load so i'm going to select dead load alone give ok so here we have force x y z mo moment x y and z so let's take it for this one node 2 node number 2 we are taking so force x is minus 1.165 so let's enter this value here minus 1.165 and then fy 
एफ वाई इज थ्री जीरो थ्री पॉइंट टू थ्री जीरो थ्री पॉइंट टू एंड एफ सी वैल्यू वी नीड टू टेक दट इज वन पॉइंट वन वन सेवन वन पॉइंट वन वन सेवन नेक्स्ट एम एक्स वैल्यू पॉइंट फाइव फोर टू एम वाई इज जीरो एंड एम इज एट इज पॉइंट फाइव नाइन सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव फोर टू दिस इज जीरो एंड दिस वन इज पॉइंट फाइव नाइन सिक्स सो आफ्टर दिस वी नीड टू गिव एड सी हियर द रिएक्शन वॉट एवर वी हैव एंटर्ड हैज बीन एडेड next let's do the same thing for live load as well right click on this add column reaction load this let's close and then select all the support go to report and then get support reactions so here i'm going to select only live load values are given only for live load now See the node number two we have taken. This is the node number two. Force x is point minus zero point zero four zero minus zero point zero four zero. Fy value is nine point one six four nine point one six four and fz value is point sorry point one six three point one six three. Next point zero seven two point zero zero five point zero four zero. This is only negative point zero. Seven two, and then this is negative point zero zero five. This one is point zero four zero. Give add. So this is added under live load. You expand this one. You have column reaction loading for dead load and live load. Now we need to assign the loads. To do that, we need to select this and then select the column and here. Assign to selection, assign load. See, it is assigned in the downward direction because instead the load will be acting in the upward direction. So we need to give negative. And here, let's take this one. See, now the load is acting in the upward direction. Similarly, let's select load case two, which is live load, under column reaction loading. Select this one, and here you have to give the negative value. Here, let's. Take out that negative value and then select the column here. Assign to selection, assign load. See now the load has been assigned. So here also you need to remove the negative sign. So now we have the isometric view. If you want to see other views, under view toolbar you can go to this front view, back view, side view from right, side view from left, view from top, view from bottom. So in this way you can just check the views. This is the isometric view. Now we need to create the load combinations. We need to create two load combinations. One is for service load and another one is for ultimate load. Because to find out the size of the footing, we need to use service load combination. And to find out the bending moment and uh, reinforcement, we need to use the ultimate load combination. So let's go to generate load combination, and then here you have to select Indian. And here this is service load combination, generate load combination. See the load combination generation completed. similarly this is for ultimate load combination this is without factor and this is with factor because in designing the footing we use the unfactored load to find out the size of the footing area of the footing we use unfactored load and to find out the reinforcement and depth of footing we need to use the factored load under ultimate load combination you need to click on this generate load combination this ultimate load combination also completed close this window now we have completed entering all the details for column let's create footing now so for that we need to create a new job so under job setup you have to create new job this window will appear here so here you have to name it as isolated footing and job type you have to select as isolated see here you have other options as well as i i have told you in the beginning by using this stad foundation you can design a uh, machine foundation strap octagonal foundation combined footing mat foundation pile cap and isolated footing so these many type of foundations you can design by using this software and design code you can choose as indian and then here you need to select the load cases so here all the load cases are uh, given ultimate load combination and service load combination also so select all these things and then put it in this box and we need only these two primary load cases let's keep it over here and then create a new job See isolated footing has been successfully created 
here you have the isolated footing job expand this one and we need to enter the few design parameters concrete and reinforcement so let's enter the unit weight of concrete as 25 kN per meter cube bar spacing minimum 50 mm so this is maximum bar spacing is 300 mm so we, we are not supposed to go beyond that this is as per is code and here this is fck compressive strength of concrete we use 25 newton per millimeter squared and uh, strength of steel is 415 newton per millimeter squared minimum bar size footing bottom so this we can even use 10 mm maximum bar size let's uh, keep it as 20 and then minimum bar size footing top let's keep it as 10 and maximum bar size let's give it as 20 minimum pedestal bar size since we are not uh, doing the pedestal we don't need to enter these values next let's go to this cover and soil so here SBC value is given soil bearing capacity so this we need to change to 200 200 kilonewton per meter square unit also we can change 200 kilonewton per meter square and depth of soil above the foundation this let's make it as 1500 mm which is 5 feet 5 feet below the ground level we are going to excavate so that is the depth of the soil above footing and rest all let's keep it like that and then click on design give s give save So you have got the details the depth of foundation is 1.5 meter and depth of footing is 0.35 meter and uh, reinforcement details you can see here since we have given the 10 mm bar minimum bar we got the bottom reinforcement as 10 at 165 mm center to center similarly 10 at 165 mm center to center top reinforcement is not required since the load is very less only bottom mat is sufficient so that is what the start foundation is calculated and you can see the footing area also 1.4 by 1.4 the column dimension as we have mentioned in the beginning 0.23 by 0.45 so the detail calculation is given here you can check and even if you want detail and schedule drawing also you can see the drawing so this you can import it to AutoCAD file and then you can uh, make changes to do that you have to save drawing as you can use this option save drawing as and then you can convert this one into an AutoCAD drawing. So friends, I hope you all like this video. Please do comment in the comment box if you like the content. Also share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.